Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and today I'm going to show you how to make bracelets with water bottles. So let's get started. You can use any kind of fabric to cover your bracelets. This is a sweatshirt. This was a t-shirt. This white one from an old t-shirt. This one I first covered with scraps from an old plaid shirt, and then I wound three different colors of yarn around it. This one I made from a navy blue t-shirt and then I added some pearls and rhinestones. And this one I made with just some denim and then when I had it wrapped up with denim I then just wrapped this nubby yarn all the way around it. Either put some tape around your bottle to mark it to cut the bracelet out or use a sharpie marker and a ruler and draw all the way around. Puncture a hole with sharp scissors and cut it out. Or use a razor knife. Like that. You can save this top part to use as a funnel. You can save your bottom parts to use as a water container for your paints. If you don't have a water bottle, you can use milk cartons or plastic tubs. If you're using either a plastic tub or a milk carton, how to strip the width that you would like then place some duct tape on one end and then tape it closed like that. To get started I just rolled up some scrap fabric and I'm going to glue this around the outside just to add some softness. So I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to glue that down like that. And I'm going to make this one with this denim. So I'm going to start out by putting some glue on the inside and then I'm going to glue my fabric on the inside. And then I'm just going to start winding this around the bracelet. And after you've gone all the way around, you can either keep going or you can just cut it off and glue it down. And that will look like this. And you can just leave it like that. On this one, I wrapped some pink yarn around and I glued it down underneath here. And then I just wrapped some blue yarn around my finger and glued that down and then glued this star type button on top. For this one I had some of this thick and thin yarn and I put that on. On this white t-shirt one I wrapped some blue yarn and then I made some rosettes with the white t-shirt and added a bead in the center. This one I'm just going to leave it plain. Well, I think it looks okay like that. And I'm going to show you how to make these rosettes on this one. I just took a strip of t-shirt and I pulled it to make it into a cord. Then I just wound it around my finger like this. Cut off the extra. Slide that off my finger like that. Tuck the end underneath. And then I made an X uh, with hot glue on the bracelet like that. And then I'm just going to set that down into the glue. And I'm just going to make sure that the glue touches everything like that. And I'm going to glue a pearl right down in the center. Like that. And I did three of those on this white and turquoise one. I'm going to take my denim one and I'm going to add this ribbon all the way around. Like that. I have lots of wire tutorials in my jewelry section to make some charms and pendants and you could use one of these and sew this on here and I'm going to do that and I'm going to also give you the link so that you'll be able to make this exact pendant. And now I'm going to sew some beads all the way around. I'm not going to bother to measure, just wherever the, the needle wants to come out on its own, that's where I'll sew the next bead. I'm going to do that all the way around. Like that, I sew beads all the way around. And then when I got back over here, I sewed a bead over every place where I had a seam where I sewed my little pendant on. So there you go, there's a great activity for a birthday party activity or for girl guides or just to make some bangles for your own self. If you like this video, please click like, please share it on your social media sites, and please comment below. And tell me which one your favorite is. I think this is mine. Or maybe this one. Thanks for watching.